So today we're going to learn how to check using the inverse operation. Now this sounds complicated, but check using the inverse operation really just means do the opposite thing to make sure that you have the right answer. So here we have an addition question, and when we've answered it, we're going to do a subtraction question to make sure that we've got the right answer. So let me show you what I mean. So we start with 43, add 10, we get 53, another 10, 63, another 10, 73, and a fourth 10, we get 83. So we've added 40 because we've added 10 four times. We've added four lots of 10. Now if we add 1, we get to 84. So we've added our 1 unit, and our answer is 84. Now with any addition question, we can make a number family triangle. The numbers at the bottom, added together, make the number at the top. But if we subtract one of the bottom numbers from the top number, we will get the other bottom number. So 84 minus 43 should give us 41, or 84 minus 41 should give us 43. And if it doesn't, we know that we've done something wrong. So let's check using 84 minus 41. So this is checking using the inverse operation because we're subtracting and subtraction is the inverse operation to addition. So we start on 84, subtract 10, we get 74, another 10, 64, another 10, 54, and a fourth 10, we get 44. So we've subtracted four tens. Now let's subtract one unit. We get 43. So we've dealt with our one unit, and we got 43. And you can see from our triangle, 43 is the other number. Or if we look at the top question, 43 is the number we started with. So we can be sure that we've got the right answer. Now again, we're going to answer and check using the inverse operation. So we have a subtraction question here. So we're going to check using addition. But first, let's answer 71 minus 15. So take away 10, and we have 61. That's our 110 dealt with. Now we need to take away our 5 units. So if we count back 5 from 61, we get 60, 59, 58, 57, 56. So we've counted back 5 to get 56. Now pause the video and see if you can write the numbers 71, 15 and 56 in a triangle like we did in our last question. So we have 71 on top. Remember, the largest number always goes on top. And we've subtracted 15 to get 56. Now if we're going to check using the inverse operation, we need to check using addition. So what addition question can we make from this triangle? So let's add the bottom numbers, 56 add 15. And what answer are we hoping for here? Well, if our triangle is correct, so if the question we answered above is correct, we should get the answer 71. 
So we start on 56, add 10, and we get 66. So we've added our 110. Now we need to add 5 units. So let's count on 5 from 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So we've added our 5 units and we've got to 71. So we can be sure that 71 minus 15 is 56 because if we'd got 71 minus 15 wrong, so if we'd made a mistake and perhaps thought it was 57, then if we'd done 57 plus 15, we wouldn't have got the answer 71. So we would know that our triangle, if it was 57, wouldn't be correct, and we'd know that we'd made a mistake. And that's why, if you're doing a test and you have some time left over at the end, it's always a good idea to check your answers using the inverse operation.